<laughs> I am so excited to be doing this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm Chelsea Harris and welcome to my perfume channel. I am an actress. You might know me from some different things like Snowpiercer or from The Neighborhood or from different commercials or you just might know my voice or you might know my hands. Yeah, literally I'm a hand model too. But also I am a perfume connoisseur. I've been on the hunt for the last year to find what are the perfumes that are not mass appealing, that are not commercial, that are not designer. What are the things that are works of art that really speak to me? And I found a few that I'm really excited to share with you about. First up, the house of Zernel Gilly. Let me tell you about Zernel. He is a house DJ who actually came up out of Chicago. Also, his second love is fragrance. He's been collecting hundreds of fragrances for a long time. And he created this line. And it's a line of music-inspired scents. We have three fragrances in the entire line so far. We have Disco, which was launched in 2021. And then we have Techno, which I believe was launched in 2022. And then we have Hip Hop which was just launched. I discovered Zernel Gilly's Scents at Scent Week LA. Scent Week is a week of events in LA that pertain to the niche and indie perfume industry. I smelled something so divine, y'all. Taken, taken. What was that scent? Techno by Zernel Gilly. Mm. First of all, look at the juice in this thing. It's gorgeous. And second, oh, Jesus Christ. Mm. By the way, this is my most complimented scent. This has really quickly become my most complimented fragrance in my entire collection. It, it's boozy, it's juicy, it's sweet but it also has a leathery suede aspect to it. And I'll read you the notes, I'll read you the notes, I'll read you the notes. It has red fruits, jasmine, leather, suede, pink pepper, patchouli, saffron, incense, sandalwood, lavender, amber, and it keeps going. It has Spanish rock rose, tonka bean, bergamot, and sage. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Mmm. By the way, whenever you get your scent sticks, instead of spraying it on this end, the true perfumer's way is actually to spray it on this end. A little tip for you. Mmm. Gosh. It's really amber forward, and so it's warm, ambery, and spicy, but then it also gives you... Mmm sweetness from the fruit and this texture to it, the smooth texture to it. And I think that comes from the suede accord that's in it. I'm a really big fan. That's, that's me having a scent gas and that's what that looks like. Oof. And then the dry down of this though, for me, that's where it's really at. You get that leather and that suede. To me, techno really does smell like techno music. It might smell like a little ecstatic feeling that some people have when they listen to techno music. I told my boyfriend once, I said, this literally smells like ecstasy. I said, this literally smells how ecstasy feels. Not that I would know. I'm just saying that it smells like it would. That's techno. I'm in love with this one. Next we have hip hop, y'all. Hip Hop just came out, I want to say August 2023. I got myself a travel size, a travel size bottle. And the reason why I actually got the travel size is because I do love this so much, but I also really love my techno. Therefore, I'm trying to figure out how to actually use my fragrances. A lot of people who collect fragrances don't actually use their fragrances. Therefore, <clears throat> so I've started getting smaller bottles of things so that I can really use it all up. 
so that I can have a little bit more satisfaction. Hip Hop has black currant, bergamot, saffron, cognac, hedione, labdanum, green notes, white musk, and broxen, cocoa, and dark chocolate. Let me spray this one. I am not someone that likes the smell of liquor very often, but this, the cognac note, mixed with the chocolate and the dark cocoa and then the saffron, mm, the saffron gives it this airy quality that, oh, that makes it really intoxicating. And it, it's brilliant to me that you can have this chocolate note and it's a, it's a tinge of a sweet chocolate note, but it is so well balanced because it does have this airy quality to it. And that, that's probably from the white musk and the ambroxan. Mm. The hedione makes it really nice and radiant. Oh, wow. Mm. The bergamot gives it this gorgeous juiciness. I'm a really big fan of this one on skin, especially. And I'm actually going to give myself a little. Yes, honey. Yes. Whoa. Oh, God. Mm, mm. So this one to me. <laughs> Hip hop literally smells like a Jay-Z concert. Hip hop literally smells like a Jay-Z concert. Mm, mm. Mm, it smells like swag. It smells like swag. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story about the scent. I, when I first went to go smell it at Scent Bar, there's this really lovely singer there. His name is T.A. Thomas. And he was in there and he's, you know, finely dressed young man, like looking good. We're the same age. What am I talking about calling him a young man? Anyway, he's an R&B singer and he was telling me that his other favorite form of art besides music is scent. And I'm like, hey, I'm an actor and my other favorite form of artistry besides film is also scent because it's like invisible art and it connects you to stories. And so he's, he was telling me that he was looking for a new signature scent that he could wear all the time during the day. And I was like, I got you. Have you ever smelled hip hop by Zarnell Gilly? And so we smelt it, he smelt it. Y'all, he was like, done, done. And he sent me a picture a few days later on Instagram saying like, yo, I got it, thank you. I said, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> Any time of year, I'll be wearing this all day, night, summer, spring, in Greece in Morocco, like where the hell I am. I will be wearing this scent. It is that good. I move on. Okay, now we're gonna turn to a scent that is the first of all the different music inspired scents that Zarnell Gilly came out with. And that one is Disco. Personally, I only have a sample right now and I'll tell you why. I only have a sample of Disco right now because she was never my favorite. She was never my favorite. However, she's really gorgeous. She's beautiful. But I just at this point, I've smelled so many different things that have blown me away. I'm really looking for that scentgasm experience when, oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Hold on. Mm, what is in this? Let me read the notes. Tea, amber, bergamot, Lavender, saffron, vanilla, cardamom. That's what I'm smelling. Patchouli, grapefruit, cedar, jasmine, tobacco, and myrrh. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Let me, you know what? Let me, let me. I might be taking that back. I might be taking that back. I might, I might really like those. Let's have a look, see. Oh. I almost feel like I pick up a pepper, but that's probably the cardamom. Mmm. It's like a whoa. Whoa. Wow. I changed my mind. I think I love it. <laughs> I'm allowed to change my mind. Mmm. This is a warm, spicy, slightly citrus type of a scent. 
It does have this interesting effervescent quality to it where it almost reminds me of the image of bubbles. Not soapy, but just literally the way that it radiates and the kind of feel that it puts in my body. It's like this euphoric, oh, maybe like disco. <laughs> wow, he did a good job. He did a good job. Mm. Oof, when I smell disco, I get like, what I imagine like Studio 54, like this like certain kind of sex appeal. Oh, it smells a little bit like sex appeal. <laughs> Don't be dirty. Well, that's it, you guys. <laughs> I did my first perfume review. It really means a lot to me that you watched this. If you got to this point in the video, this is my first video. I love perfumes. I love fragrances. I'm going to continue to review them and continue to put a little dose of entertainment into your day as well. Please like and subscribe. It's super helpful to my channel. And I'll see you again on the next one.